Well, the Manhattan Institute is known as a think tank, which is a alternative to universities. It's the idea that we're going to generate new knowledge and ideas outside of a university setting. Uh, I had no awareness of the Manhattan Institute, I'll be very honest, uh, for all of my life, uh, and was not even a conservative. I certainly don't consider myself a libertarian, but I had started writing uh, when I was in New York in the 90s on issues of culture, postmodernism, multiculturalism, and had written a piece uh, that would kind of represent a direction I would ultimately go in on personal responsibility that was about a stampede up at the City University of New York, City College during a rap basketball charity game. And I wrote about this and I had published already with the new criterion and Roger Kimball suggested I try the City Journal, which was their quarterly publication of the Manhattan Institute, which I did, uh, and they accepted it. And then a writing development, a writing relationship developed out of that, where I became more and more frequent contributor to City Journal. And, and the editor at the time, Myron Magnet, asked me to write my first reported piece, which I'd never done. I was not a student journalist, which I wish I had been. I, I admire students that take time away from their studies and learn the ropes of being a journalist. I, I was such a perfectionist in college. I always <laughs> blew through paper deadlines uh, and was granted leeway, which was preposterous. Uh, and so the concept of writing under a hard deadline Still is anathema to me. I can't imagine doing it. I, I, I suffocate when I feel like I'm under a deadline. But it's a great discipline, and student journalists, keep it up. You're saving the world. I wasn't one of those. So to do a reported piece was also very novel, but that also opened up a whole new uh, type and genre of writing, which I did pursue fairly actively after that.